What is up guys? My name is Mark Cinemario. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog guys. Today we're doing one of y'all's favorite things. One of my favorite things, we're going to a swap meet. Well, we're going to a swap meet that we haven't been to in a long time. We're going to one at Indy. Uh, why that's interesting is because Indy is a track. We're wondering if there's going to be more race stuff there. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. A lot, last time they had it, they had all different types of stuff. But it's also weird because it's inside and it starts at 9, which... I'm leaving at 8. I'll probably get there late. Um, when I say late, probably like 8.30 and everyone's going to be there. So let's head on out. in here my boy Doug my Tamiya consultant had his low C JRX JRX2 JRX2 that's what they are but this is the mini version uh, I'm actually gonna go to his place and check out his other one because he has the actual big scale one that matches his mini scale one but this is his one that he's gonna keep in the box I actually like I think this color I think this color looks the best here's the different colors on the side yeah I, I like that color that one looks more original uh, actually all of them look good maybe I should just get them all Fine, I'll get them all. All right, looks like people are rolling in. We're rolling in a little bit late. It started at nine, looks like it's going at about 9.15. We'll, we'll start here first, go through this table. Looks like, just as we thought, there's gonna be a lot of race stuff going on. Ooh, look, a Drake, an AD2. And that one looks freaking new. Got some, ooh, MT44. There you go, there's a, there's a Jet Blaster. Ooh, a Max. Uh, this is the rock and roll max. Oh my god, and 10 scale car galore. Wait, those bodies look familiar. That looks like an Andrew Clark body. Oh yeah. Oh, and then you got the Pro Line hauler. Whole bunch of cool stuff over here, but just as I thought, a whole bunch of race stuff. Chase, did you see the AD? AD2. Alright, moving over to this side. Looks like we got some tires and looks like a Mud Boss. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Ooh, a Techno ET410. Got some storage boxes up here. Uh, whenever, oh, look at this, guys. Team Corrali Kronos. Heavily upgraded. Comes with two Z Lipos, 500 or tray. Let's see what this looks like under it. I mean, it looks like it's in great condition. Oh, it's got an Arma BLX system in it. Hex, Hex Fly. That's a pretty cool looking truck. I have one of these at the house, and I just have never opened it. And then we got some plastics here. A Vortex. I love this truck. This is like a, the 10 scale, two, 10 scale four wheel drive truck by Arma. I guess the comparable, the comparable truck would be like a Rustler 4x4, but either one of them are really, really cool. And then I don't even know what that is. That's a, that's a weird little thing. 250 for a Vortex. All right, moving on. Oh, look at this old school Afna. <laughs> MPX R2. Look at this. This thing is old. I wonder if it even runs. I'm sure you get it to run. Team Associate SR10. We got a crawler. Oh my god. Come on, focus. What's going on? Because I'm moving in and out so much. Oh man. Got a big old gas. Let's see. I don't know what that one is. That looks like the maybe the DBLX. DBLX maybe? Old T Max. If you ever want to do like a restore project, you can usually get these T Maxes, pick these up for a pretty decent price. And they are fun resources because there's so many parts on T Max out. Um, the thing that I don't like the T about T Max is the bulkheads are probably the weakest part. And to get that bulkhead off, it's like an act of Congress. It is not fun and easy. Let's see what else. Oh, we got a, we got a Revo. We got a Revo 3.3. Uh, maybe him. I think he's selling this stuff. Revo 3.3 with some big old Duratrax uh, six-pack monster truck tires. A Rustler with a VXL. 
How much you want for these? And the Revo? Uh, Revo, I want like 300, the Rustler 200. 200 and 300, not bad, see? Oh, look at, look at that. I gotta show Chase. That's uh, Mikey B's old car. I'm pretty sure this right here is Mikey B's old car. That's too funny. I'll give you a hundred bucks for that. Uh. <laughs> Easy, easier, easier to race. Okay, let's get, let's go over here. It looks like we got some cool stuff over here. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? What is this lightning stick? Oh, this is a red cat. That's pretty cool. Got an old quad. I don't even know if that's an old cop quad, but that's a huge quad. That's for sure. Got a got a slash slash body, some slash wheels and tires. Let me see what we got over here. I'll let these guys finish. All right, we're, we're gonna have to make it through this thing pretty quick because it looks like people are already buying stuff up and uh, I don't wanna, I don't, hey, Mr. Landon, what's up, bud? How are you, sir? Got a crawler, very nice crawler. Oh, look at these. Those are the good uh, drive shafts, guys, they're nice. We got some other, ooh, look at, check out the, that truck. I think, it's, I think they call it the Mon truck, I'm not sure. Wow, look at that. Oh, man. Hey, where'd you get that? Golly, you scoped out the Tamiya so fast. I think it's cool. Check this out, that paint job. That patina look, looks so sweet. All right, there aren't too many tables set up right now. Maybe there's more people coming in. I just heard a rumor that people are actually buying stuff in the parking lot as they're coming in, front door and everybody. That body right there, I actually gave that to Heinz. That was a cool body. That was one of my, on one of my old cars. Let's go back over here by Rob's stuff because he always has a whole bunch of stuff over here. Check this out, guys. He's got the Angaro Editions OS, Angaro Edition OS engines. Look at that. Oh, so sweet. 525 for the motor and pipe combo. This engine's awesome. I, I actually I haven't even seen one in the States yet, but man, that is freaking sweet. Check this out, guys. This is apparently a Kyosho. I've actually never seen these, but love all the scale items on top. I think that looks really, really cool. It's got the tire straps and everything. That's pretty sweet. He's got some little quads over here. They're not quads, little helicopters and a little quad, but man, that thing looks good. Got some electronics over here. I like this. This looks like, oh, it has been mounted. And then I like this also. How much for the servo, the Protec servo? 90, dang it. Oh, and the uh, transponder. Hey, that's a super small cord though. Hell yeah. Jeez, that's tiny, dude. <laughs> All right, here's another table. Check this out. So the first thing I saw when I saw this is that charger right there for 40 bucks. Great charger. This is a charger that Evan actually uses. And it's a really, really solid charger. It charges both sides. You can charge both sides at 10 amps. The limitation on this charger is it's 200 watts. So you can't do 10 amps for two 4S batteries. You can only do about six. Um, but that is a great deal. It's got a starter box. Ooh, a 410. Oh, with money for only 80 bucks? Man, these are like mega good prices. A TC7 for 100. Oh, man. Look at that, a Techno NT48.3 for 160. And then a Kyosho for 160. Wow, that, that is an incredible deal. Because Kyoshos are not cheap. Yeah, that's, a, that's actually pretty cool. So this is a point one. It's only $80, dang, that's a, that's a steal. Check this out guys, an HPI Savage. I always said I was gonna get one of these on the channel. I was hoping to get one of the newer ones. I haven't seen the newer one yet, but this was what the big competitor with the T-Max when the T-Max came out. The eight shocks, the monster truck. Yeah, these things were freaking awesome. I've actually never owned one. Hopefully soon we'll get one, but HPI Savage, you guys. Got some other cars here. Oh, look at the Dunkin' Donuts body. That's actually pretty cool. All right, guys, so here's what I scored. I, bag I scored this bag of servos here. It has two of the 400 ounce tracks of servos and then a 170 TBL, which that servo is not cheap. I scored this entire bag for a hundred bucks. Not bad. It's not the greatest deal, but it's not bad. And I always have use for servos like this. And then also I scored that this charger was a great deal. I mean, this is a charger that Evan uses. I used to love this charger uh, whenever I ran it. I run the, the Spectrum equivalent charger now, but for 40 bucks, these chargers are $150. Now, sometimes you can get them on sale for 120. For 40, you just you just can't beat it. And it's always nice to have a backup charger. So 
that's what I scored so far. We're not leaving yet. I think Evan's gonna run his car for a little bit and then uh, we'll go from there. Just got done testing those servos. Those all checked out perfectly fine, perfectly smooth. Really happy with that deal. I just scored this uh, from that guy, <laughs> from Derek, but I got it for 40 bucks. These things are like $150 online. Uh, the reason why I wanted one is I wanted one for the house and I could use the pads and brushes. So went ahead and picked that up, 40 bucks, killer deal. But I'm gonna talk, talk to you about my greatest deal of the entire, <laughs> and I'm looking at the guy as I'm talking about it. The greatest deal of the entire swap meet is this guy right here. So we were just talking about how these things are awesome because someone was using Evans and basically they say they're all sold out everywhere. And uh, as we're talking about it, this gentleman right here walks in with it in his hand and Chase runs over and says, how much do you want for it? He goes, I want 50 bucks for it. And I said, I'll give you 40. Ended up scoring this for 40 bucks and it came with <laughs> a bit. But man, these things are awesome, guys. If you, have, if you don't have one of these and you build RC cars and work on them a lot, you definitely need one. I'll put a link in the description below. You should check it out. This is my, I think my fourth one. Uh, now me and my boys have one and I have one at pretty much every one of my pit stations, but these things are freaking awesome. All right, Evan's getting some laps in with Barry. Barry's the, the yellow and black car right there. Evan is the white and blue. Evan's getting some practicing. I'm not driving today. I'm just hanging out. They're about to bring a bar, there's a barbecue food truck coming. So I'm pretty excited about that. But overall, a fun day at the track. I got some good purchases. Lots of deals still happening. And while I'm shopping and doing swap meet things, Evan's driving on the track. So it worked out perfect for us. Oh, the barbecue guy is about to be up and going. I am so hungry, guys. Look at this guy. He is killing it out here with the barbecue. I just got a brisket and rib plate. Evan got a chicken dinner. Oh man, look at those ribs. Oh, I am so hungry, guys. Woo, just got back. Man, look how washed out I am. Come on. What is going on here? There we go. Anyways, just got back. Evan ended up burning a whole bunch of laps. I think he turned something like a couple hundred laps at the track. I ended up leaving the track to go pick up my Father's Day gift, which I'm not gonna show you guys today, but it is a super cool gift and we are gonna use it for something MSM related. So make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe because every 5,000 subscribers I get, or every 5,000 increment of subscribers that I get from here to 100,000, I'm gonna give cars away to the general public, not just Patreon. So make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell because we got a lot of cool stuff coming and going. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys. Thank you.